Hey guys, I've been checking in. Here's a question. Are you guys ever tired of not being able to draw good looking lines? Or maybe turning beautiful portraits into internet meme trolls? If the answer is yes, you've come to the right place. Instead of leveling up in computer games, let's level up our art skills instead. No time to waste, let's get started. For the sake of demonstration, I'll be using Adobe Photoshop. With every drawing starts with the lines because they are essential to capturing good form. And today we're gonna go over line confidence and how to draw more aesthetically pleasing lines. To begin, what is line confidence? Line confidence occurs when we can accurately predict the outcome of each stroke. And this can relate to the length, width, line weight, curvature, and positioning. Each will have their own videos later on. A mistake beginner artists often make is by using feather lines when first starting out. And this mistake occurs due to the fact that we're unsure of where a full stroke should start and where it should end. We can see this mistake especially prominent when in long straight lines. When we know what the lines should look like but do not have the ability to execute, we become uncertain. For example, used in the square and circle, the end result being is that our shape looks soft and broken. A good strategy to overcome this fear of uncertainty is to experiment with your lines. Try drawing lines forming different shapes, including squares, rectangles, and triangles. Start with long lines that would cover the directional surface of the object you're drawing. And try to relax your hands, regardless of which tool you're using, as a tense hand will result in more downward motion rather than lateral motion. When drawing the lines, try to visualize where the lines start and finish. Even if you're having to go with multiple lines, this is a good start. When you're comfortable with straight lines, we are ready to approach our first boss and counter to our quest to become better artists, the circle. The circle involves curved lines, and this is a shape that often occurs in nature and is one of the shapes that we will revisit often. Practice with these tips in mind, and you should see progress soon enough. Gradually, you'll build up muscle memory as well as increased hand-eye coordination. While mistakes will be made along the way, that is totally okay as long as if we learn from the process. And to finish, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more practical advices on how to level up your artwork. We'll see you guys in the next video.